The finest silks from the master weavers of Randalar. Come, come, feel its softness. Drop Make a nice steaks, gift to your wife. Sausage, all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. curatives, restoratives, all you like, sir. It's all fresh. Pick this very morning. Restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments. Well, this could seem clean, boy. Five years later, what? It's good to see you, Sid. Wow. What have we learned? His hair is longer. <sighs> the bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. His mark is gone too. Kupka's private guard. He just has a scar. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. Damn it all. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. The old Sid. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. So much has happened. Please, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. <laughs> but you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. <sighs> it's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? Oh boy. It's him. The outlaw. Sid's here. Yeah, I'm him. Thank you for the compliment. Try Jesus, not me. Come on. Cause I throw hands. No, 
Let's go. The power of thunder. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Ramu's essence. Tuning with Ramu may not only change the element aspect of magic spells, but also allow us access to several new iconic abilities, such as thunderstorm, which rains eleven bolts down on all nearby enemies, knocking them back. Ramu's iconic feet blind justice. Oh my god. Oh god, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh my god. Is that it? How many are there? You don't want these problems. Titan sent his regards. Sick, man. Enough of this. Let him play with the kitten. The what? They brought a pet. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Tiger, Panther, Jaguar. We'll have to be faster. A lot is happening in this episode. Okay, I'll take that. Oh my god. This game is sick, bro. This game is sick, bro. Game of the year. Game of the freaking year. Game of the freaking year. Game of the freaking year, bro. So much has opened up with a third icon. This game is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh my God.
To hell with this! They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole, all because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. <laughs> and come with us. The heck? For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope, for a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want, and that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. I believe this is a new hideaway, though. This looks like a like the ruins of an old airship. It's kind of crazy. The old hideaway got destroyed by Titan by Hugo. Uh, yeah, I noticed that everybody calls me Sid. I guess Sid is a title now. 
Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. I expect he'll be in the mess. That they'll be training. I see schoolboy swing harder. I like the music here. So they've settled on water. Okay, where am I supposed to be going? All right, right here. gonna be weird people calling me see it I'm not gonna hold you <laughs> let's see what we got going on okay all operations are suspended until I too there you are Clive word of your adventures arrived this morning Victor sent his thanks <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the force he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Okay, speak with Vivian in the map room. What's up, Nectar? Wonder what this new board is behind me, aren't you? All good time. Okay, I guess he's gonna tell me later. I trust I'm not intruding. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to wage war on her rival across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than Walud relinquish Ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the Crystalline Dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire, the Dalmechian Republic, the Kingdom of Walud, and of course, our friends in Yaran. Who will be left standing, I wonder, 
when the last drop of blood is spilled. You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even? Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Okay. And how may I assist you today? The state of the realm. So this is something new. What is it that you wish to learn? By speaking with Vivian in Hideaway's map room, Clive can view the state of the realm and learn more about the current going ons in Ballastia. Revisit any of the Nine Tales past lessons or take a deeper look at the relationship with those individuals in Clive's orbit. I have the details here. Grand Cast. Here you can view detailed visualization of character relationships in Final Fantasy 16. Updates you as you progress through the main scenario. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So it's showing you like relationships uh, and how they relate to one another. Leave dead, deceased. Dang, she assassinates him. That's crazy. Yo, this is crazy. I kind of like this. Former Duchess, mother and son. Wait, what does that say? Okay, Zoranzaria. After the fall. This is interesting, man. Dominant of the Phoenix, Joshua. R was thought to have died at the hands of the second icon of fire during the disaster. If any case, however, he is very much alive, traveling the realm even now. He's true identity hidden by a heavy cow and assumed name that of Lord Margrace. Yeah, there's still a lot of mystery going on with Joshua. Mysterious being. He called him Ultima, though. Situation. Well, Here you can view a detailed overview of the current and past events relevant to Clive's story that updates as you progress through the main scenario. All right, use L1 R1 cycle through the pivotal milestones in Clive's adventure. This is a lot, bro. <laughs> Save his brother. This is like a more, I guess, like a more detailed That's version of the tomes. I'm good. Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right. 
I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. I could have a thought worthy of a letter. Once the hall swept, it's over to the tavern. Read Gav's letter. Where is Gav? What's up, Jill? Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway, okay? Republic's play. The Republican army, mar army war marches on the Empire at the twin side, and the men of the Rock have summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I see you're done to wear upon my return. Gav, okay. Gav has a scar for his eye. got cut five years ago. What does Gav have to say? The Republican army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kuka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance. The one we've been waiting for. Are y'all like a couple now? Just asking. It's been five years. But look how far we've come. All that we have here, our friends, the hideaway, are they not cause for joy? Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. He did. He was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Looking for it, it looked like he trapped it inside himself. Do you think he will ever come back? I know he will. And we must be ready when he does. To a world without mother crystals. A lot of the music in this game has a lot of nostalgia from like older Final Fantasy games. Oh, it's Joshua. Northern Territories. And so the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. 
But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Come and talk to me, Joshua. Hey. Master Clive, a moment, if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. All right. Gathering storm. What would make Martha leave the rest? What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip Ran the duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. All right. Let's find the curse breakers. And we have some side missions here. Okay. Okay. All right. Just wrapped up a side mission. We're going to go ahead and find the curse breakers now. Going back to Martha's rest. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Let's get you. Yeah, see what's going on with Martha. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. is right. 
That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But to culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. All right. What are you after? See, we probably need to restock. Thanks very much. Ooh, we have elixirs now. Super expensive too. Much obliged. Oi, look sharp. Look up ahead. Is that Martha? Martha, are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black Shield. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. Bro, they really came in here and killed these people that was already sick. That's crazy. No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. You're dead. Murderers. They I'm going to like destroy y'all. I'm going to use every ability on y'all that I know. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. Y'all don't know what's coming. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. Y'all don't know to what's dwell coming. In darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. You think you got black and gold armor that's On supposed to intimidate me? Swords, we swear. How Just a different colorway, no sir. Words. Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Oh, it won't. I'm gonna destroy these. Get this word. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You thought, you thought it was gonna be simple. Take this L. Take the L. Is that all of them? 
I think so. Breath of the Wind gouge. Okay. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Yeah, but where though? Dang, they killed them all. The bearers died protecting him, calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. Friends of Martha, we're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. Continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sid's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I. I shall. Sid! Where are you? In here! We found a survivor! Clive? He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't, but it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Redux jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Oh man, okay. Seems like nothing good can happen in this story so far. <laughs> oh my god. It's crazy. Okay, make for a Riddux jump. Perform casting and return to Martha's rest. Get on over there. Oh, 
We got a new enemy type here. Alright, man, rank seven. Is this like a hunt that I'm not aware of? <laughs> Notorious marks. Every now and then, Clive may encounter creatures strong, larger, faster, and more furious, ferocious than most. While flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown, but also rare materials that may be used to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. Nice. Let's go. Doom? What the heck is this? Whoa, what is this? Oh, he's tagging me. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm getting tagged. Oh my god. This thing is different, bro. Jesus. down nice wow that was crazy that was pretty crazy man we got a lot of gale for that too you didn't see that coming man for that to be a rank c hunt that was pretty wild So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, 
and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Okay, we'll turn to Martha's rest. See if we can just fast travel there. Yep. Best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. That was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago. Of black-clad devils descending on villagers in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, return to the hideaway. I really like this in between, uh, this kind of like these in between uh, plot points of the story. Things have never really changed in terms of how bears are treated and now. It's like. Seems like things are worse than they were before. Ah, Clive! Oh, I've missed that scowl. What up, Gav? Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Gav? <laughs> if it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. And now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. 
Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Oh boy. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath near Ironholm. Drake's Fang in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine in Walud. And Drake's Tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's Breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield of the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rossfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. Uh, took you this long to find out? His name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Otto's counter is now open, okay? New facilities, the following hideaway facilities are now available. Alliant reports, patrons whisper, the hunt board, all right? What are we waiting for indeed? All right, guys. Um. I'm going to go ahead and end it here for this episode. We had a lot going on for this chapter called Gathering the Storm. Yeah, it seems like the state of everything that's been going on five years later has progressively gotten worse. But now we do have a plan, at least, to take down the next Mother Crystal. So I'm super excited to see what happens next. Make sure you hit the like button and sub to the channel if you haven't subbed yet. Till then, y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Y'all be blessed. And as always, you know the vibes. God loves you. And I love you too. Peace, Luke. See you in the next episode.